That was Maranatha with Lord I Lift Your Name Up on High here on your radio station AM 930 The Light Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, listen to what uh, David has to say in Psalm 23, verse number 3. He says, He restores my soul, and He leads me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. So, if you're feeling a little bit weary, a little bit frustrated, a little bit worn out, well, David just reminds us that there is someone who can restore your soul. Now, when we we talk about your soul. We're talking about your will, your intellect, and your emotions. And that means that God can touch every part of your innermost being. Now, how does that happen? Well, you should spend time with the Lord every day in prayer and also reading His Word. Remember, the Word of God is, of course, food for your soul and for your spirit. And when you spend time in prayer, you're communicating with the one who gave you life. Now, David says this, he restores my soul. And when he does that, there's a little process that happens, and he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Now, Jesus had a very interesting thought when he was communicating to his audience in the Sermon on the Mount. And he said, listen, the pathway to eternal life is narrow and few are traveling. it." He says, but the highway that leads to, you know, death has many people traveling it. He says, you got to make a decision. And that decision is, Lord, I know that you restore my soul, but Lord, I also need to get on the right path. And that is, of course, where we need to be because the path to eternal life is, of course, a path of sometimes difficulty, but mostly it's a path of abundant life. And it's all done for his namesake. We are the beautiful thing about being a Christian and following the Lord is that you've got a destiny. You've got a place to go. You are going to have a life both of meaning here, but also you have eternal and abundant life waiting for you on the other side of the veil. So either way, you and I are going to do what God has called us to do. Live the life that God has called us to live. I love that old commercial on TV that says, there's no life like it. There's no life like it. And there is no life like it. Yesterday, I was chatting with a friend of mine whose name was Ken, and we were talking about the fact that there was a definite change in our lives after we came to know Jesus Christ. And it was a good change, by the way. So, a little thought for you today. For your friends here on AM 930 The Light, and now we have for you Kimberly Lee, Like a River.